Okay, yeah, welcome to the webinar. My name is Harish Swaminathan, and um, I'm going to be talking about these algos and indicators that I've developed over the years. I think many people are familiar with uh, uh, Option Tiger and uh, what I do. And uh, please mute your mics if you don't mind. And uh, one more request is uh, if you have questions, feel free to type it into the chat box. Uh, but I may, if I think it's relevant, I'll, I'll answer it. But otherwise, I'll get to the questions, uh, you know, in the Q&A session afterwards. So we're going to be looking at these proprietary algos and indicators. You need a reliable set of tools and indicators. And then, of course, you also need your own risk management uh, techniques and trade management techniques. But without a base set of tools that can give you an accurate picture, then you're just flying in the dark. So what I've done over here is um, over the over the years, I've built these, uh, I've designed these uh, uh, proprietary algos and indicators. And uh, so what we are going to do is we're going to look at some of these today. And so this is, uh, these are the five algos I'm talking about. Um, there is a proprietary algorithm for swing trading. Basically the, the, the swing trading and the day trading, the way you have to look at it is they act like scanners. Then there is a proprietary algorithm for SPX intraday trading only. And this is, it calculates the ticks. I'll get into all of that later, but it uh, basically it calculates the ticks right from the moment the market starts. And it's obviously it's only applicable for intraday trading. And then we have a custom RSI, which is actually quite a neat little tool. And um, it, uh, it, it it helps you to stay in a winning trade. Uh, and it tells you also when to get out. It, it, it's sort of an early warning indicator. Now, when we talk about these indicators, uh, you know, you must understand there is no such thing as a leading indicator. Uh, meaning, you know, nobody can tell you what is going to happen in the market next. So, you know, all of these are just giving you the tools and it calculates all this data only as whatever market data is available. So, uh, you know, obviously it could be a very bullish day. Suddenly things can change in the next instant. Things can change or the next day it can change. So all of that is all, you know, always there. So you have to have that caveat there. Uh, uh, you know, nobody can know what is what the market is going to do next. But without these set of tools, you're really just flying in the dark. And finally, the, the most comprehensive algo is this multi time frame trend indicator. So now this is really a cool, uh, a cool indicator and, and you're going to see the demo. So before I go further into this presentation, which is not much, it's just describing all of these, uh, uh, all, all of these algos. What I want to do is uh, jump into the platform itself and see now the market is not open. There's still 10 minutes left. So maybe what we can do is just, uh, you know, just skim through these, uh, uh, these indicators uh, descriptions. So the multi time frame trend indicator is the most powerful, versatile, uh, you know, versatile and um, flexible indicator and it, and it captures trend on all time frames. So meaning you can use it for uh, day trading, you can use it for swing trading, you can use it for long term investing. It works on all time frames. But the coolest thing about it is it captures trends up to five levels of time frames within the same chart. So it's all within the same chart and I'll show you how that works. And it works for any, you know, even if you're a stock trader or an options trader or a futures trader, it doesn't matter because what you're looking for is the trend and it gives you the most accurate uh, trend picture. Yeah, then the, uh, yeah, and it's about five, uh, five level deep uh, trend analysis. So, for example, on a single chart, if you're doing day trading, you can set, for example, you can set it for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes and one hour. So. The multi time frame trend indicator will give you what is the trend in the last five minutes, what is the trend in the last 10 minutes, and the last 20 minutes, and 20 minutes, and one hour. And so you can see, obviously, when all of them are aligned, then of course, you know, it puts you in the best possible situation. But you may not want to wait till all of them are aligned because the move might be over, especially if you're looking at an intraday kind of a situation. Uh, on a more longer term chart, that's fine, you can wait. Uh, uh, but on an intraday time frame, you want to jump in and that's where the custom RSI comes in. You know, it gives you an early warning signal for a swing trading example. You would set your chart settings to one day, two days, four days, one week and a month. So it gives you the trend across all five of those time frames on the same chart. All of those time frames are aligned. And if it's aligned to the bullish side, you'll see a green. And if it's aligned to the uh, to the bearish side, you'll see uh, a red. And, in, uh, and so it's a very visual uh, representation and it makes everything a no brainer in that sense. Uh, you know, so you so you'll see it now when I say no brainer, obviously, you know, like I said, uh, you know, markets can do anything. So 
you have to have your risk management and trade management principles ready uh, in case it doesn't go your way. However, uh, to get into a trade, uh, to uh, to stay in a winning trade, or or you know make any adjustment, you can look at these indicators, and it's very visual. And so you can also know when to exit on all these time frames with the maximum profit by using the uh, custom RSI. So uh, we're going to look at all of that. The next indicator is the SPX ticks. Now this is uh, really cool. So what happens is when uh, the markets open at, at 9:30 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, all all 500 uh, of the S&P 500 stocks uh, start trading. Some some may tra- start a little later, depending on the on the on the demand and supply. But basically, within the first few minutes, they all start trading. And when they trade, they either tick up or they tick down. And so, what this indicator does is it calculates how many up ticks are there and how many down ticks are there. And it keeps a cumulative total right from the time the market starts all the way up till 4 p.m. And so what this gives you is, and the way this tick uh, uh, chart goes, you can see the breadth of the market. What is the strength of the market? So because if uh, if the up ticks are you know significantly higher than the down ticks, that means you know a majority of the stocks, or at least the majority of the volume of the S&P 500 stocks are ticking up. And so that's a very important internal indicator. So it indicates the strength or the breadth. And so it's a deep market internal indicator. And in this indicator, you can customize it for the S- uh, for the S&P and I'm gonna show you the S&P, but you also have customizations for the NASDAQ index, the Dow Jones index, as well as the uh, Russell indexes as well. So we'll see this also. Then you have the custom RSI, probably heard of the normal RSI the normal RSI you know has a band of between 70 and 30 and if it goes over 70 then the normal RSI tells you it's overbought so which means if you're in a uh, in a in a bullish position then you might want to think uh, you know think of uh, coming out of that position similarly uh, if it's below 30 uh, then you're in an oversold position so which means a bounce is likely and so uh, you know you might want to adjust your trade accordingly However, this custom RSI has been tweaked and so it, it's tweaked and it remains persistent. So what this allows you to do is stay in a winning trade longer. It, you know, you can, whether it's a bullish trade or a bearish trade, you, you can stay in the winning trade longer. And the best thing is the custom RSI also works on all time frames and it works excellently with the NTFT as well as with the uh, SPX ticks. And so finally, then we have the day trading and the swing trading algos. So these act like a scanners on any watch list. So, you know, we all keep our own watch list. And so this um, uh, this algo goes and sits into one of those columns there. And you'll see that as well. So what, what this does is it helps you identify uh, the best candidates for trading right away because it tells you, you know, which one is very bullish, which one is very bearish, which ones are neutral. Uh, and it also tells you for the day trading algo, it tells you for basically on, on a five minute level. Uh, whereas on the swing trading algo, it's more of a monthly uh, kind of a chart. So these are the five algos that we're going to be looking at. What we'll, uh, what we'll do now is uh, let's go into the platform and you can see these and I'll explain this before the market starts. Now, uh, today is a bearish day. As you can see, the S&P 500 is going down about 32 points in the pre-market. And uh, so it's, a, it's obviously a bearish day and it, it's been coming down in the last couple of hours uh, yeah, uh, quite a bit. You can see from here. It's, uh, it's really coming down. And uh, so obviously today you're going to see more reds, but what you see these five rows uh, of dots over here is the multi time frame uh, 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 you know, indicator. So what you have is a one day, one minute chart. So the, so the base chart itself is a one day, one minute chart. And therefore all your configurations for the multi time frame trend, you have to configure it uh, higher than that. And so the next one I have here is five minutes. And then I have 10 minutes and then I have 15 minutes and then I have 30 minutes. Now, depending on how you want to trade, you can customize this to anything. You can say 10 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, one hour and two hours. You can also say that. So all those customizations are available within the indicator itself. And so now you can see there are five. So, uh, uh, there are five um, uh, rows over here. And once all of them are aligned. So this is telling me right from the one minute, which is the chart base itself all the way to uh, the, the to the last 30 minutes 
uh, it's all red. And so when all of those rows are aligned, you get to see a master level indicator right here. And so once you see the master level indicator, then uh, you, obviously you, you, uh, you know, you're fully confident on the trade. However, you may not want to wait for all of them to come because by the time sometimes uh, this is a nice bullish move over here, uh, temporary, I'm talking about on a, on a minute scale. So this is all day, in, intraday trading uh, opportunities that we are looking at over here. So if you look at that, you saw the bottom row came first, the next row came uh, and the third row came and the fourth row came, but the fifth row never came. So on the 30 minute level, it still wasn't uh, fully bullish. However, if you if you took the trade somewhere here, uh, once you saw some persistent dots over here, and once you see the custom RSI, what you what you're seeing below is the custom RSI. So, uh, if the custom RSI stays above the the, uh, the 60 line over here, uh, and there's other customization also to it, it's not just the levels. Uh, it tells you to stay in that trade. So, even you know, on a on an intraday basis, uh, you know, let's say if you took the trade here. Uh, you know, you would be you, you would go up for about uh, five or six points uh, on the S&P uh, futures. Similarly, you can see the custom RSI dip below the uh, 40 level over here. And so if you took the trade right there and anyway, all uh, the MTFT is already aligned. And if you see the custom RSI also go down, you take the trade and you're probably still in this trade, notwithstanding this one bar over here, that one bar did not change any of the uh, configurations. It did not bring the custom RSI out of the uh, of the of the bearish mode so now the market has just started and you'll be able to see how nicely these things move uh, and you know to uh, to give you an accurate trend information so you know it's always not a good idea to jump in right at the market open and uh, take trades you know, you know you want to let things uh, settle down a little bit and so yes we are, we are seeing a, a, a big correction in the pre market however that can change that can change and so you want to wait for uh, this now what is interesting is these columns on the left side so this is my watch list over here and on these columns on the left side especially the day trades column you'll see is very active in the sense that things are moving around the stocks are changing so for example the es just went uh, you know bearish over there you can see that uh, that's the smp futures uh, here you have on a day trading basis you have let's go to uh, goldman sachs and if you see uh, uh, this gray part is the pre-market but Goldman Sachs jumped into the into the very bearish and so uh, right at the open itself and you can see uh, the, the red dots are there and uh, the custom RSI also is uh, is there. But once again, you don't want to jump in at the beginning because things can change. So similarly, I'm trying to look for a bullish candidate. However, there is no there is no very bullish candidate. So let's go take a look at Zoom right here and see why that might be bullish. And so you can see Zoom. And the day trading algo also looks at uh, some of the pre-market and, and that's a setting also that you can do. So here we are in the pre-market. Zoom is, uh, you know, is looking decent uh, compared to the rest of the market, I would say. I mean, it's not very bullish, uh, but it's uh, at least it's uh, it's bullish. So obviously today you're not going to find very many bullish candidates. Uh, in fact, uh, there are pretty much none except for this. Let's check Uber out and why that is bullish. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the MTFT is aligned, but then, you know, you have to let the... Uh, uh, you have to let the bar get over. Always, you have to let the bar get over so that uh, uh, you know all these dots can be painted and the custom RSI can be finalized. And uh, so here, Uber seems a little a little bullish over there at the at the open. Uh, Amazon also at the open, little bullish. Of course, it's pulling back a little bit on this bar, but you can see custom RSI is also above the uh, you know above the 60 level there. But the best uh, you know uh, uh, the the best example is always the ES, and so. Uh, you know, I'm going to go back to the ES and uh, see what's going on because ES has a lot of activity, as you know. ES has uh, is one of the most liquid uh, uh, futures or liquid instruments in the market. So things are still pretty bearish. So if you if you wanted to take a intraday trade uh, on the on the ES or the S&P futures or the S&P options um, or just the spider, the SPY, all of that, then you know you're probably getting ready. But however, it's just two minutes into the open and. Uh, the opens are always uh, kind of volatile. So basically then here you see on the on the left side on the watch list, you also have a, a swing trades and it, it, it tells you on the swing trading column. If you if, if I click on that, it will tell you 
what are the uh, bullish candidates what are the bearish candidates here you can see adobe but now uh, you know i don't want an intraday chart of adobe i'll have to go to uh, a uh, i'll have to go to a one month chart uh, let's go back to our uh, es itself and let's study those over there and uh, see uh, see how things are developing and so you'll have a very good idea of uh, how uh, how these indicators work so here we go now you can see a little bit of uh, you can see a little bit of uh, uh, you know bullish activity or at least uh, retracement activity here not as bad as uh, it opened uh, improving a little bit but it doesn't mean anything and you can see the three red dots come in on the lowest time frame so the uh, what is telling you is it's uh, uh, on the one minute level okay you know slightly bullish over there but is that enough to jump in uh, no i don't think so at the very least you would want the custom rsi to move up higher into the into the persistently bullish zone and just because it pokes its head doesn't mean you need to get into the trade uh, also uh, you need to just wait for some time and make sure it's a little bit uh, it, it's a little persistent and then uh, you can get into the trade now as you can see on this bar even the one minute went into red so obviously uh, the trend is still somewhat bearish over here and um, we'll just have to wait and see how uh, you know how this plays out so here this is definitely bearish at this point uh, it's, uh, it's it's definitely bearish and so you can see also the numbers 36 and uh, what we can do over here i'll also add in the spx ticks so we can see that as well so and this is for the smp tick so and you can have a nasdaq tick you can have a dow jones tick and here it's telling you right here that the SPX ticks is also ticking down quite heavily, quite heavily actually. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, from the open, it's been ticking down quite heavily. So that also tells you that uh, there is severe uh, selling pressure on the market and uh, all of the, you know, uh, pretty much all S&P 500 stocks are kind of bearish, uh, if, you know, if not, uh, uh, you know, if not outright bearish. Uh, but but you'll see these uh, uh, these stocks uh, i mean you'll see the indicators change in real time uh, you can see custom rsi trying to poke out of the out of the bearish uh, 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 out of the bearish area right now uh, the ticks have in, of course the ticks will only change at the end of every minute and so we'll see what the next tick is it could be it could be an uptake when you have a strongly negative tick like that that tells you that the breadth of the market is uh, obviously started out on a uh, weak point so at this point things are still quite bearish over here and uh, we'll see how it develops let's see if there is any change if there's some changes in uh, if it suddenly starts recovering and going uh, and starts to go up you can see some of these uh, dots change so let's just give it a minute or so a couple of minutes and see what happens here and you'll see the custom RSI also will give you these arrows. All it's saying is, okay, it's popped out of the out of the bearish zone. Here, uh, you know, it's telling you that it popped below uh, the bullish zone. So, just giving you some kind of an early alert over there. And uh, and so here, once again, you can see a little bit of a turnaround on the uh, in the in the overall market at least it's attempting and there you go so you saw these uh, dots come in so it paints uh, you know uh, one dot it, it also repaints one dot uh, you know before it uh, you know especially in a one minute environment uh, it um, uh, these things uh, change so let's see if, if things change i mean as of now the smp is down 33 points uh, the futures are down 33 points uh, let's see what happens and what i'll do is after we look at uh, the day trading uh, uh, scenario I'll create the configuration itself, so that way you know uh, you can see how these uh, how these configurations also work. So we'll configure it for a swing trading environment, and you can see how that works as well. So the ticks are still ticking down, if you see, and then the, it gives you a tick number over here, and so uh, you know that is uh, still going down. It was five thousand something, and it's it's gone down to six thousand. So the most accurate indicator is the mtft along with the custom rsi there's no question and the ticks will only work on the sap uh, you know index that's it it won't work on any stock or anything so that is purely for uh, spx intraday trading so you have to uh, keep that in mind you are, uh, what that means is you can do you can trade the es futures you can uh, trade the spider uh, you know the, uh, the, the etf itself or you can trade the spider options whatever but all these are 
you know, all these are otherwise applicable. The multi time frame, the custom RSI, and the day trading and everything, it, it generally uh, is, is good for all stocks and ETFs and everything. The ticks is the only one that works on the indices. And so, once again, here we have a situation where uh, the ES future is trying to, trying to recover a little bit. Let's see what happens. But there's no sign that uh, any recovery is going on in terms of the multi time frame trend or the ticks or the custom RSI. So, right now, the custom RSI is in between the 40 and 60. So, it's kind of in, the, in no man's land over there. All right. So, meanwhile, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to type it into the uh, you know, into the chat box, and I'll get to it. Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a power move coming here on the uh, on the ES futures. Let's see if it can sustain. Now you can see on the MTFT you have two two rows, two dots, but it's still not yet time to jump in. Uh, you know, even on the if you are looking for a trade on the bullish side, obviously today is a bearish day. You would most likely, if you're trading intraday you would be looking for a bearish setup rather than a bullish setup but but let's just leave the leave out the fact that the smp is down 31 points or whatever if you are just looking at these dots and say okay two rows are aligned so which means it's aligned on the 5 minute as well as the 10 minute now is that enough uh, you know i think it's a little early now you want the custom rsi to at least cross you know into the bullish side and that gives you uh, a decent and, and once it stays there for just a, you know for, for one or two ticks then uh, you know then uh, it gives you more confidence like i said today you wouldn't be looking for a bullish trade but i'm i'm, I'm setting aside the fact that the smp is down 30 points uh, and just looking at the indicators here all right so there you go now you have uh, once again two rows but three dots uh, three consecutive dots and so is that enough not yet i don't think so the custom RSI is kind of going flat right at the 60 level. And in fact, it's dipping below now. So uh, you're going to have this choppiness. I mean, day trading by its very nature is choppy. But uh, in a day trading environment, you don't want to wait for all, all of these rows to, to, to get aligned. I can tell you that. Because uh, then if you wait for all five time frames, then that's too late. Uh, you know, the move would have already happened. Uh, because in a day trading environment, you're probably in the trade for a few minutes, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20. And so uh, if you wait for all of these rows to get aligned, that's too late. And that's where the custom RSI comes in. Once it settles down in the, on the bullish, you take the bullish trade. Once it settles down on, on the bearish, you can take a bearish trade. And here it says Tesla is bullish on the day trading time frame. So let's let's check out Tesla. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. So that you know that's where this uh, the, these columns are so useful because... It tells you right away which one is bullish. Let's take a look at Netflix. Why is it bullish? There you go. That you know, it's it's clear why the. And so when you're looking at this kind of a Netflix chart, you have to completely ignore the uh, the ticks. In fact, you shouldn't have the ticks on this chart at all uh, because it makes no sense. Uh, that is that just is looking at the S and P 500 index. And here you go. We have Zoom also on the uh, bullish. Again, right after the open, Zoom has been, Zoom has been punching up. And you can see the custom RSI now, it's very persistent. Of course, now it's starting to come down. But is it, you know, if you were in a bullish trade, is it time to get out? No. Let it come out of the bullish range. And this is what I mean by it, it's persistent. So uh, normally, if you, if you just looked at the normal RSI, uh, you would think, oh, this is overbought. You know, I think I'm going to get out. No, but that's not the way you look at it. This is a custom RSI. And you, you, you stay in this trade. Now it's telling you there's a red arrow coming in there and it's saying, hey, maybe this is the time to get in and now you see two dots get out of the trade that's it you've had a good run over here for about uh, i don't know 10 12 minutes uh, you know uh, you would come out let's see what else is bullish chipotle mexican grill is bullish there you go chipotle and chipotle trades like this it's not uh, very very liquid but uh, you can see here now you know once you saw three uh, and you saw custom RSI moving in, so perhaps right here you would take the trade on on this uh, on on this minute at uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you know on on this minute over here uh, at the twelfth minute after after the hour, and uh, you would still be in this trade until the custom RSI tells you, uh, or if the green dots start disappearing and start turning into red, that's when you would get out. Uh, let's go back to okay, Coinbase is very bullish. Let's let's check out Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase, yeah, started out on a bullish note and it's uh, and it's going up over there. Now, of course, it's uh, it's coming out and there are four red dots, but it's still not 
you know, it's still not time to get out of the trade because the customer RSI is still uh, is still right there. So Coinbase, but when it crosses down and comes down, that's when you would want to get out of the trade. So all of this, yeah, and you can see how you know th these columns are very uh, useful because of that. Now you don't need a scanner. You can just you, you can just click on this. It's telling you it's in the very uh, bullish uh, state right there. So here we go. We have Twitter, and Twitter also once again from the beginning it's been uh, it's been up uh, going up. Uh, a couple of red dots. Now when you see a couple of red dots, that doesn't mean you get out of the trade. Okay, so you don't want to you don't want to get out, especially at the uh, at, uh, on the one minute row. You don't want to get out of the trade. And as I said, and custom RSI and and some of this is subjective. Obviously, these are tools. You know, ultimately you have to make the decision. Uh, and so, unless it comes out, uh, you know, out completely out of the thing, and then you see two or more uh, two or more rows of reds, uh, you don't need to sort of uh, get uh, uh, get out of the trade right away as soon as you see something like this. So here we go. This is what Twitter. Okay, then we have Nvidia. Let's take a look at Nvidia. Uh, once again, uh, similar kind of thing. Nvidia is still very persistent. It is. Uh, it is in the bullish state. So, you know, anywhere here, if, if you know, in Nvidia, it crossed right here. So here it's clearly crossed. Uh, uh, the, uh, the customer RSI has crossed the bullish zone. So here or here. So that's a level of 756. And uh, you, you know it went up to 770. Now it's at 766. That's 10 points on the uh, on the on, on Nvidia. So even if you bought an at the money option with a 50 delta uh, and say you had five contracts, that's uh, straight away that's a profit of about 1500 dollars right there. Uh, similarly, you can do that on the SPX itself. Uh, so if you if you're watching the ES charts, for example, then uh, you you can you can trade on the ES and. Uh, 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 just with five contracts on a single trade lasting anywhere from a few minutes, uh, you, you can you can easily make up uh, quite a good profit. Now, as I said, you know, with, with the markets, anything can change. So the next minute, something different might happen. And that's why you have to have your risk management, whether in this case, if you're trading options, whether you want to convert it to a debit spread, whether you want to do something else or you, whether you just want to come out, you want to put a stop loss, whatever your risk management plan is. Uh, you need to have that in place because things can change. All these tools are doing is giving you an accurate and helpful picture of where things are going. And you know, especially when you can see five different uh, time frames uh, trends on one particular chart itself, that's very powerful. And so, and you, you can see whether that trend is increasing or decreasing. Uh, and with the uh, with the with the custom RSI, uh, you know, you have uh, you uh, uh, you have something that gives you an early warning signal. So on the ES, of course, today it is still at 31. You can see the, it's a mishmash of red and uh, green dots. So there is no trade here. Uh, if you caught it in the pre-market, yeah, perhaps. But you know, right now there is no trade on the ES or the SPX because everything is just uh, in in no man's land over here. So ES is not a very good uh, very good example. Uh, Caterpillar become became bullish. Why? Okay, there we go. Now you can see Caterpillar is bullish from here onwards. Uh, uh, obviously on the one minute uh, time frame. So that's how this works. And um, so you can see the ticks also ticking down. So the breadth of the market is not looking very, uh, very good. Uh, you know, that's what, uh, and if you were taking a trade uh, on the SPX, uh, you wouldn't go strictly with the, uh, you know, with the ticks, but what you would do is uh, look at the ticks, look at the direction of the ticks. You know, what matters with the ticks is what direction are the, are the ticks moving in. So here you can see it, it, it's going down consistently. However, at some point it may start turning around and you'll see some green dots and going upwards. So that could be, a, you know, it could be a quick day trade. Uh, or why not? Uh, you know, if you see three, four ticks up uh, and, uh, the, and, and the MTFT and uh, all of them was also showing green dots, then why not? You can take a quick trade. But remember, you know, it's a bearish day. So. Uh, in general, you would be better off looking for bearish trades rather than, uh, I mean, at least on the index. But uh, on the individual stocks, you might uh, you might have some bullish opportunities. Now you can see now some of the bullish opportunities are going away. So we have only Chipotle, Caterpillar, and Amazon on the very bullish. Previously, we had a lot. Uh, that's because the overall market is also going down, and uh, you know, and most stocks are you know somewhat correlated, although. The correlations have been absolutely weird in the last two or three weeks. 
uh, and uh, especially between the Nasdaq stocks and the S&P 500 stocks, uh, they're just not correlating at all. Uh, in fact, going in opposite directions, I would say. So there's somewhat of an issue there. So if you're looking at the SPX, uh, then uh, or, or rather, if you're looking at a Nasdaq stocks, you're better off looking at the Nasdaq index uh, you know, as well. So here, let's go take a look at the Nasdaq index and see what that is doing. Uh, the Nasdaq index is also down, but it's not down that much because if the S&P is down 35 points, the Nasdaq should be down about 150 or 180 points. It's, so it's not down that much. That's why you're seeing some strength in some of these Nasdaq stocks. Um, and and uh, But it's been completely reversed uh, lately. The, uh, uh, the Nasdaq was up uh, oh, like 180 points and the S&P was down yesterday. So uh, that kind of stuff is going on and a, a little crazy stuff is there. Uh, right now in the markets, but uh, uh, nothing we can do about that. I mean, that's the markets for you. So anyway, this is the NASDAQ. We uh, come back to the ES. Now, what I want to do is, and I want to make this a swing trading environment. So first thing what I'll do is I'll go into my uh, studies here and uh, I want to customize the multi time frame. So I'll, I'll customize this. And what I'm going to do there is instead of five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes and 30 minutes, uh, I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to make my base chart as one day. So anything, you know, whatever we do here has to be more than that. So here, let me put a two day trend. Let me put a um, two day trend and let me put a, a, a three day trend or three days is close. Let me put a four day trend. Uh, let me put a one week trend. Let me put a one week trend and finally let me put a one month trend. And so now what I'm doing is I'm setting up this chart for a swing trading environment. And so I do apply and um, and of course all of these will go bonkers because you know the, these are not set for, you know, this is an intraday chart. So here also what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a, um, I'm going to make this uh, a um, daily chart. So I'm going to do one year daily. OK, so that's what I'll do over here. And so now you'll see what's happening on a swing trading environment. And of course, the ticks go for a toss because they only work on intraday. So obviously this, uh, you know, this one is not applicable. But if you were looking at the S&P 500 in a swing trading environment, then this is what you would be looking at. And you can see it's lost its trend in the last uh, few days. And the customer RSI is also dipping into the bearish. OK, so uh, in, a, in a swing trading environment, uh, this would work, but but it won't work on the I mean, uh, it, it's not going to work on the uh, on the SPX ticks because that is uh, is a, oh, purely an intraday. So I'm going I'm just going to take it out. So the chart doesn't look very confusing. So here you go. Now we have our um, the MTFT. The MTFT works uh, very well on the on the swing as well. And so does the customer RSI. So uh, if you want to catch a trend, I would say you wait for at least uh, the custom RSI to pop into the into the you know into the bullish and uh, jump into the trade. So here you can see now the custom RSI is pretty much aligned with the with the MTFT. There uh, we had a pretty decent run over here in the in the previous uh, what is it April or March? Uh, March we had a run of bullish on the bullish on the S&P for all this while, and if you go a little bit before that, you can probably see. The uh, you know so 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 it was bullish over there and suddenly it lost its trend and so you can you know with these uh, uh, with these uh, red dots you can see you can see that it's lost its uh, its trend on the one day on the two days and the four days however on the on the weekly and the monthly time frame it you know it was still green so those were still there however you you know you want to jump in when everything gets aligned again and so that would have been on this bar if you were looking to go long on the S and P five hundred uh, bullish I mean. Uh, then uh, and once you get in there, you know, you're you're there all the way in this trade all the way till here. So it can be a fantastic uh, uh, trading tool there. And that's how you would set it up for a swing trading. So now if we come to our swing trading column here, uh, what I want to do is I want to come to the swing trading column and let's see why some of these stocks are in the very bullish category. Zoom is in the very bullish category. You can see why clearly over the past week or so. It's uh, it's been all uh, green dots. The master indicator is also green and custom RSI is also persistently in the bullish zone. Let's check NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been a it's been on a tear actually 
And uh, every time I think of getting in, I think it's like too high, too high, uh, waiting for a pullback, which is not coming at all. But NVIDIA has been on a tear for, for all these days and here. And like I said, if you see this one dot, it doesn't mean you can you need to get out of the uh, trade. Uh, you know, you can stay in the trade for one dot, especially when customer RSI is way into the bullish zone over here. Uh, you don't have to get now, you know, get out of the trade just because you saw two red bars here. Uh, no, that's not getting out of the trade. And even over here, you see one red bar. No, that's not getting out of the trade. The customer RSI is extremely persistent on, on, on NVIDIA. Let's take a look at uh, the next one that's very bullish. It's PayPal. PayPal also, same thing like NVIDIA. I've been wanting to get into it and uh, just not giving a decent opportunity here on PayPal. So, we'll, uh, you know, but this is how this, you know, all of these will work. Uh, let's look at the ES itself. The ES has been, uh, yeah, off. Uh, it's been off for the last three, four days over here, as you can see. I'm going to jump back into uh, the um, into the day trading environment because if you want to see things actually, you know, happening, then uh, you want to get into the into the day trading, uh, in, you know, environment. So uh, let's see if this, yeah, this is a one day, one minute, and you have. Uh, but the swing trading works the same, except for. These things are not going to change that quickly. So in the swing trading environment, it takes a little bit more time. I'm, I'm just going to pause here. Let's see what the ES futures are doing. And um, let's, see if, uh, let's see if we can uh, get some insights over here. Now you can see, at least on the one minute row, there are some green dots. Uh, Custom RSI is entering bullish zone. However, you know, do you want to get into that trade? No. Do you want to see at least two time frames aligned uh, right now it's only the one minute uh, the five minute also is not aligned so still too early yeah sure enough it's uh, backing down again and that's because it's a it's a weak day today so you know we are down 35 points so when you when you want to take a trade what do you you know what do you what is the first thing you need to do is okay uh, which stock are you going to trade what are you going to uh, uh, trade today whether, whether it's day trading or whether it's swing trading so that's where the scanner helps because uh, you know it gives you uh, it tells you right away which stocks are in the very bullish, which stocks are in the very bearish. And then once you see that, then you click on it and you go into the chart and then decide whether you, you know, that's the trade you want to take. Now, that decision will come based upon your, uh, the multi time frame and the custom RSI. So this acts as a scanner, the, the column, the day trades column acts as a scanner and then you jump into the chart itself. And then you can make a better decision, you know, of, of taking the trade. All right, there's a question. Do these indicators perform better at opening or at the close or better between, say, 10 a.m. and 3 p.m.? They, they work right from start to finish. Now, this is a day trading chart. And so you will find some pre-market information also uh, being factored into this uh, day trade column and also on the trend column. So even the multi-time frame trend indicator will work on pre-market data. Now, you have to bear in mind, pre-market data uh, can be uh, very illiquid and, and you know, the volume is not great. But the moment the market starts and regular volume starts and uh, regular activity starts, all of these indicators uh, work from 9.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time until 4 p.m. Eastern time. And the ES futures, on the futures, on gold, uh, gold futures, ES futures, or any other futures, it works 24 hours a day. So here, let, let me take the example of the ES futures. Okay, so now this goes back, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it goes back quite a bit. So let's uh, uh, see what the futures, have, uh, you know, how the futures were doing earlier. So here we are, but you can go earlier also and see what they were doing. Earlier on, uh, you know, about 12 hours ago, these things were a little bullish and all over here. But obviously, as we approach the U.S. market open time, uh, right from here, the bearish uh, thing started coming in. And uh, of course, uh, there's just two or three green dots there. And you can see that the futures from that point onwards for so at least for the last three hours, four hours has been pretty much red. You know, you don't see any green on the master level. Uh, good question, Julius. Uh, to scalp, is it better to look at the one minute uh, time frame or five minute? I say one minute. You know, I, 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 do, I do a lot of intraday trading and uh, I, I go with the one minute. Uh, five minute becomes, I mean, it depends, uh, you know, if, if, uh, whether you want that kind of trading uh, activity, uh, uh, you know, but if you're going to be trading, if you're going to be sitting there in front of the computer, in front of the chart, then I would say one minute is better. All right, it's back to bearish mode. Now ES futures are down 40. 
and uh, let's see what that does to our day trades column here. Uh, now, we still have a few bullish. Uh, some of these Nasdaq stocks are bullish today. Uh, last week, they were extremely bearish and uh, while the market was okay. So there, there's been that mismatch in the overall markets here. It has been a little difficult to figure this out. But clearly today we are looking at uh, a down day so far. Okay, and all of these are uh, installed on the Thinkorswim uh, platform. Uh, if you don't trade on Thinkorswim, you can always um, you can always uh, open uh, a um, just a, 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 an account with the minimum, which is I, I believe hundred dollars, and you you'll be able to install these uh, on them and use uh, use the Thinkorswim platform for your analysis and for putting all these indicators. And if you use E-Trade or Fidelity or whatever for your trading, you can do the trades there because this is a visual, uh, you know, indicator. There's no, uh, you know, uh, there's no click to trade or anything like that. You know, you you take your trading decisions based on the chart, and you can use any platform to trade. However, these indicators install only on Think or Swim. Any stop loss management rule if the position is against us, that is completely individual, uh, Julius. Uh, I mean, I generally have a little bit more tolerance uh, you know I, I take a little bit of heat on, on my positions but uh, that is an individual thing I mean if whatever makes your stomach feel uncomfortable that is your stop loss right there whenever you feel uncomfortable that's your stop loss this is how these indicators work Europeans can't open a think or swim account any suggestions uh, HN what I'll say is if you have a friend in the US who can open it for you, just give him the $100, open it. Uh, I, I know uh, Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade is like so picky with their thing. I, I, I just don't get it. Why? In fact, Thinkorswim is not available to Canadians and it's a Canadian company. Can you believe that? Uh, you know, TD, uh, TD the, the parent is a, is, is a, is a Canadian company, uh, but they don't allow Thinkorswim in Canada. I don't know why. I don't know why. They don't allow it in, your, in uh, UK. They do allow it in some countries in Europe. Etienne, I, I don't know where you are. are. You in France? I think they have it in France, but you may not be in France. I think I don't know. They allow it in Singapore. They allow it in Israel, but not uh, in uh, many countries in uh, in Europe. But in any case, that's the uh, that's the workaround. Uh, you know, if you can open a Thinkorswim account, then just put in the minimum there, hundred dollars, and you can use it. That's if you trade on a, a different platform, and if you're in a country where um, think of swim is not allowed then you can just have a friend open a, a, a you know, open a minimum hundred dollar account and uh, you can use that all right so looks like not much of change in the future still down about 38 points some of these nasdaq stocks are bullish but everything else uh, pretty much is uh, is bearish here i hope you've got a decent idea of uh, the how these indicators work because these columns are you know gives you the the scanner effect and so once you know what to trade then you jump into it look at the mpft look at the customer rsi as i said you know you don't have to wait for all five to get aligned especially on a day trading in environment in a swing trading environment you should have at least four of them aligned but in a day trading environment if you see two or three aligned that's good enough and especially if the customer rsi is telling you to jump in so that's how you would look at these indicators here all right, folks. Uh, so today it looks like a bearish day on the, in the markets. Uh, hope you've gotten a good chance uh, to see these indicators. I'm going to have these uh, these webinars uh, because you know today is a bearish day. Let's have a, a different look. So next week I'll be having a, a, a webinar also. Uh, if you if you want to know when uh, you know we are we're doing the next uh, you know uh, uh, we're doing the next webinars here, there is a, on Option Tiger website. It'll you know it'll take you to this page. Uh, join this course. It's a free course. Uh, you basically join and then you'll be uh, you'll be alerted to when the next webinar is so that is this free webinars course i'm logged in now so it's coming as this but you'll be you'll be uh, uh, you can see a screen where you can uh, you can basically uh, you know sign up over there it's a free course and once you sign up there you'll be kept updated i'm going to do a few webinars uh, that's because uh, I'm doing my um, uh, semi annual special on these uh, indicators usually uh, the MTFT itself here. Let me go back to the presentation and let me show that part. Uh, not this. Uh, let me show the PowerPoint over here. And so what happens is, uh, okay, here are some more links. Okay, all of these have playlists and things like that. So once you uh, see, uh, you know, once you see this, uh, you know, if you want to see the recording, 
or or you can uh, take a picture of the screen right here uh, and uh, you, these are all bitly links uh, the first one is the swing trading uh, signals and the algo so basically that's more on the swing trading uh, side the next one is the day trading algo the spx ticks um, swing trading youtube playlist that's because i run a, a swing trading service as well there is a spx ticks playlist a day trading playlist and a earning straight playlist I, I think i missed out the mtft playlist there is an mtft playlist as well so uh, you know if, if you go on my youtube channel uh, uh, you can you can just search for mtft and it will come up with the playlist there I, I i missed that one over here so as i said i'm having uh, you know uh, the um, uh, the annual special and so this is the same bitly link where it will take you to that course the free course where uh, the uh, you know where you can uh, uh, where you can register and if you want to be updated, receive recordings, whatever, and when the next webinar is, uh, you can do that. And finally, as I said, I'm having a uh, uh, July 4th, uh, the US Independence Day special. It's a semi-annual special. Uh, normally, the MTFT itself goes for $24.97. Uh, what I'm offering here is you can get all five, which is the MTFT, Custom RSI, ticks, the day trading, and the swing trading for $19.97. That's about 70% off. If you just want the MTFT and custom RSI for 60% off, that's for $13.97. If you just want the ticks and the custom RSI, the custom RSI, I would recommend with all of them because you know it really gives you an early signal and it's a very helpful, neat little indicator there. And you can get the day trading or the swing trading algo for $4.97 each. That's also 50% off. So uh, the email to uh, uh, if you have any questions on this, you can email uh, you can email me here info at optiontiger.com or if you want to just make the payment on PayPal, uh, this is the you know it's the same email info at optiontiger.com. So just go to PayPal, uh, PayPal and uh, you can say pay to this email. So you'll get all this information in the in the recording as well. But uh, if you want to take a picture of this, you can. But these are uh, these are basically now sixty to seventy percent off for most of the algos uh, and of course the top one is the best deal 1997 you get everything so uh, you know it can't beat that that's uh, that's over 70 percent off right there let's go back uh, to the markets here and see if anything has changed in our thing no nothing it's still down 38 points over there well if you think of any questions you can always email me you know at info at option tiger .com, uh, with, uh, with with any of your questions there and uh, even in, in terms of buying products now also I, I, I you know, you probably know I have various other, uh, you know, I have various other products as well. You know, just uh, mostly options related. So if you come to the you know, options, uh, you know, I have a options beginners bundle. Each of these bundles have 15 to 17 courses in them. And all those courses are also listed over here. So if you wanted to customize a package uh, with any of these bundles. And of course, finally, I have my options mastery, which is the ultimate in options. Uh, these are called the max systems. Uh, so for various strategies, uh, I have over the years through trial and error only. Trial and error is quite expensive uh, in terms of you, you tend to uh, lose money, but then you tend to learn, uh, you know. So anyway, I've had to learn that way. So, so whether you're doing, uh, you, know, you know, you're doing weekly options, whether you're doing iron condors, calendars, uh, Adjust Max is more of a generic uh, product. This is for earnings reports. This is for ETFs, swing trade, day trade, and uh, income, uh, just weekly income uh, spreads and straddles. So all of these are very, very advanced. And uh, each, each of these courses are several uh, you know, hours long. So each Max system costs uh, 197 But if you wanted to package a custom package to do it uh, along with these algos or something like that, uh, just email us and you'll be able to. Uh, you'll be able to package it. We'll give you a custom price there. Can we short the market today? Yes, you can. But you have to pick and pick your pick your uh, time, right? I mean, you have to pick the time. Looking for deep uh, toss training. I have a deep toss training course uh, on Udemy. Uh, uh, just so, if you want to give us a, I mean, send us an email uh, info at optiontiger.com. We'll send you a we'll send you a discount coupon also along with that. So that's it, folks. Uh, once again, you know, if you're interested, this is a July 4th special. Obviously, you have a few days. Of course, I'll be conducting this kind of a webinar uh, at least, uh, you know, two or three times more. So please do register on that free course and you'll be notified. And uh, also, if you have any questions on this package or anything, please email us uh, info at optiontiger.com. All right. So have a nice, uh, have a nice day and um, we'll speak to you soon. Thanks.